everybody, welcome back to another episode of Haas. Now, it is survival today. We're returning, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen. Hope you guys are having an absolutely fan fantastic day. Hope for the most amazing variety. Then we get some more fantastic from here on out today. We got a ton of loot coming our way. We got a revenge raid that we must plan and play out. And boom, we got a teaser posted by the developers of Last Day on Earth that you lads and ladies, ladies, that you lads and lassies are witnessing here firsthand. Now, there might be some questions, and we will be breaking down what we are seeing, but in the meantime, I did want to give you guys a little bit of a playthrough of this teaser and kind of the very ominous and creepy feel slash vibe that it has going through it. I actually saw a couple people bringing it up, like, this kind of reminds me of, like, the Battle of Winterfell or something, which, I mean, like, low-key, it gives me those freaking, like, horror-filled vibes with, like, absolute crazy things to come. But without further ado, boom! Let's break down the first of the things that this little teaser teaser trailer does a show now on top of this as you guys may have noticed at the end of the teaser it did kind of denote this is summer which is very obviously pointing towards the fact that this is going to be one of the two huge updates coming to last day on earth this is summer and likely if they are teasing it it is going to be the teaser for the first of those two updates and here is the first image of what is being shown and within this image we're seeing a couple of things number one very obviously we can see the Corgi. Little Corgishu. He looks so cute over there because in case you guys were not aware, just I think a week, maybe two, three weeks ago, the last day Earth developers in their Thursday development section where they show off of something new every Thursday that is kind of like a work in progress that is being developed over at the Kafir offices. They showcase two new dogs that they were planning on bringing to the game. And this is one of the two that they did showcase in addition to, I think it was maybe like the Doberman that was the second one but regardless we are seeing this corgi chilling over here and it does appear that this new dog is going to be one of the things wrapped up into the first of these two major updates which is likely to be according to the roadmap the secret update which is likely to be the atv slash swamp update we've been going over this for the past couple of days but long story short they've been teasing a ton of stuff about the atv and swamp and it's nowhere to be seen on the roadmap they have said that there are two major single player updates coming we know that the outpost update is going to be a big one so what in tarnation could the other big one be well with everything that we've seen it has to be the atv swamp at this point point. and when they did talk about some of the forthcoming updates and how there are going to be two major ones this is summer which is pretty much going to be within the next two months and the first of which should be coming this very month which holy guacamole i can't wait to dive into they did say that they're going to be very sizable updates with a couple updates worth of content rolled into one so likely what we are seeing is going to be this corgi actually being rolled into one of these two updates again likely to be that A to B swamp, but then we're seeing some sort of an interesting structure there in the back to the left of the corgi i did raise the gamma on this image a lot so things might look a little bit washed out but they are a bit more easy to differentiate than the super darkness that was going on throughout the trailer and what we are seeing over there like the general shape of it kind of reminds me of like I want to say it kind of reminds me of like a generator or something like that. But if we do take into account the relative size of it, because we are seeing the size of the Corgi and then over to the left, we are seeing the size of this thing that it appears that there's like some sort of a crank over there kind of sticking out of the far side of it as well. It appears that this is going to be some sort of a hand powered potential generator that we'll be able to use maybe for like a towing or something, because like if we can see some sort of a rope, I don't know if that's like maybe a pipe going into like the underground or something or if that's just the end of the rope that we might be able to attach to something. But regardless, it does appear that there's some sort of a hand crank associated with this and what appears to be some rope lying around. And then to the right of the corgi, there's a very interesting little thing. What appears to be some sort of a small-ish wall. But what exactly type of wall is that? Especially given its relative size to the corgi, I think this might be some sort of like a flood barrier or like a flood dam. And this is why I'm leading towards this potentially being part of some sort of a new location over in the west the slash the swamp zones that will be unlocked once our atv is buildable and the big reason that i'm saying that is because well it is going to be taking place in a swamp and one big feature of swamps and having all of these like waters and plains and little rivers flowing through is that they're very susceptible to floods and this barrier we're seeing over there it looks like it could very realistically be some sort of a flood 
flood barrier which fits in perfectly with the atv swamp update and what that would contain and given the fact that there's some sort of a barrier i'm guessing this might be some sort of a more unique location that is going to become available in those western zones because i don't think we just run across this random crank and this like barrier just in a randomly like generated like swamp zone kind of like how we have oak zones and like wood zones and stone zones i don't think we come across something like this in one of those rather this is likely going to be part of some sort of a new event or some sort of a new location and with that flood barrier that we are seeing there it's likely going to be taking place within those new western zones in the context of that type of jazz maybe this is the new watchtower for example because if you guys follow me over here you can see that exact watchtower it is definitely kind of starting to get into that floodplain territory and like maybe they'll have like a little barrier kind of along this edge to try to protect it from flooding because like over here this still looks like pretty normal land but once you start getting over here is when the kind of swampy feel really starts to hit with all these like small bodies of water and seriously they've literally like laid out two perfect spots one right there one right there for a yellow and subsequently red swamp zone to be added similarly to how we have a yellow and red oak zone and yellow and red winter zone in the last place where we saw a watchtower expansion aka the north which was unlocked with the chopper so given a lot of the signs that we have seen a lot of the patterns from the past it's lining up very nicely for this to occur but boom let's move on to the second thing that can be seen out of this trailer and this as well is looking juice delicious ladies and gentlemen boys and girls this is some sort of either ridiculously amazing chopper skin which i don't think it's going to be or some sort of an entirely new chopper and this thing is looking ridiculously dope now the reason i don't think it's going to be a chopper skin is because usually those just involve a paint job on our chopper they don't involve major aesthetic modifications like some of the chains we're seeing on the back of this thing the freaking like bony dragonness of like its freaking body not to mention the skull with the headlights sticking outside of it and the glowing eyeballs like this thing's looking ridiculous and a little interesting thing to note is the armor of the person riding it. This is the armor of the Raiders. Now, this could just be a coincidence or this could be the trusted steed of some sort of a Raider boss that we will be encountering and maybe should we defeat this raider boss that is how we can unlock the recipe to build this motorcycle for ourselves similar to how clearing 99 waves of the police station unlocks the police bike to be able to be assembled back at our garage something like this is likely going to be a new type of motorcycle and they are going to have to have some sort of a, a probably hard way to build this thing because this thing is without a doubt the coolest looking motorcycle out of the four that we do currently have this being the potential fifth one and given that and just the general aesthetic of it the fact that there is that very kind of very telling raider armor of the person riding on top of it and we have started to see in this latest basement update if you guys recall the video a couple of days ago at this point where we ran across a bit of a special raider enemy called flint in the basements not to mention during the two-year anniversary update there was a special raider enemy that had a special name i forget what the enemy or what the name of that fellow was but long story short in these past couple of updates we have started to see kind of named and recognizable faces to the raider faction start to emerge and us battle them and following suit with that following suit with the fact that a unique motorcycle like this would likely need some sort of a hard way to unlock it this is looking like it might be some sort of a raider boss that has this motorcycle that will be able to battle in some way shape form or fashion again the fact that they are teasing most likely one kind of update with this teaser and we have kind of deduced that that corgi like hand crank location is going on with the atv swamps that means that this is likely going to be some sort of a new boss coming towards those western atv swamp zones or maybe one that will be able to battle somewhere in our normal zones but regardless it is likely going to be coming in that atv swamp update is kind of like the one bundle that it is a part of and dude i cannot wait to battle this guy and try and unlock this thing because oh my god this is looking ridiculous and i need to ride that because that is going to become our go-to chopper and boom here we are seeing the final of the images and it's a little 
there's definitely not as much to take away from these besides the fact that they have very spooky glowing eyes. This is giving me freaking Game of Thrones Battle of Winterfell vibes. And the fact that this entire trailer has had this very nighttime mysterious theme going on, that might just be a theme they've been going for with the trailer. Or it could be denoting that maybe they do kind of want to have nighttime become more central in this ATV slash swamp update. And maybe there will be like special nighttime events where we get swarmed by hordes or we can fend off the hordes or maybe when we battle the raider boss we have to battle them at nighttime with these spooky hordes coming at us as well with their glowing eyes but definitely nothing as concrete to take away from this to be fair but with that said with that done there you guys have it for the new information we have for your lads and lassies today from this wonderful looking trailer and holy guaca freaking moly I cannot wait for whatever this trailer is showing off because there is so much naughtiness that it is alluding to and do, like do, there's just ah, there's so much that i want the corgi whatever location that corgi was chilling at because that is not a location that we currently have within our grasp and from a couple of the context clues it genuinely appears to be taking place over there in those swamp zones. Today's code, by the way, is going to be 26991 to go ahead and get into Bunker Alpha. If that's out of date by the time you're trying to put it in, make sure to check that comment section down below. Phone up today version brought to you by the fan freaking fantastic community here at the Snipe Gang. We're back to what we were saying between some of those what appears to be new location or maybe new event teases that we are seeing. Maybe that's going to be the location where we can fight off this raider who has the super unique motorcycle going for him and the dude unlocking that motorcycle and whatever else might come into play with all of this because even worse a case if that isn't a raider boss and that's just a little bit of a coincidence with the armor that he is wearing they are still showcasing what has to be some sort of a new motorcycle body like the military motorcycle like the police motorcycle because that motorcycle is too distinct to just be a color scheme and just given the style of that motorcycle dude like you need to admit that motorcycle seems like something a raider would ride especially a some sort of a boss of a raider to go along with it and given that and the fact that these motorcycles do kind of tend to have interesting ways of unlocking them and we have seen challenging ones like the police motorcycle for example having to go through 99 waves of the police station it, i think defeating a raider boss would kind of fall in line in the realm of reason so we got some really crazy stuff going on over there you can't wait to hear what y'all got to say about it in that comment section down below definitely make sure that y'all do chime in and let me know your guys' thoughts on all the stuff your guys' thoughts on the corgi Woo! that's what i like to see get in my belly uzi and more engine parts and i will toss on the military armor for the time being as well because well i i like not losing my swat armor when it's not necessary and trust me hard mode floor three we have down to a science and long story short as long as you have more than 100 health Dear God, I'm so sorry about the burp there. As long as you have more than 100 health, you will be just the fine battling against, well, the real reason that we're over here, to battle the blind one, to give us those 10 red tickets that we need to go and redeem a red ticket crate and then go on our jolly little way towards the fan for fantasticness. Oh, baby, we got some shotgun rain going your way. Baby, 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 baby. There we go. Let's get a couple more pellets up in there. Shotgun rain. God dang it. Shotgun rain. We took them out. They were not doing us any favors in terms of like criticals or anything like that. Little bit disappointed. I'm not going to lie. Let's chow down on this jerky. And like I'm saying, let's definitely hear from y'all in that comment section down below your guys' thoughts on all of these things, whether that be the new motorcycle and how it might tie in with a potential raider boss, what this boss might be like, what you guys would think. Because I think if they like, I, I could seriously see it being like a motorcycle boss battle because that'd be a unique thing. Usually when they introduce boss battles, they do try to have a unique twist on each of the boss battles and having to fight a boss on a chopper could definitely have some pretty cool gameplay incorporations to pair along with it so there's a lot of potential over there and i do definitely see an avenue for that to happen as well but like i'm saying let me know what you guys think about the chopper about the potential boss riding that chopper oh i gotta go and fight this explorer over here but uh, what you call about the corgi about whatever location it was that that corgi was chilling that how that maybe will tie in with this raider that we are seeing on top of the motorcycle and what maybe those zombies at the 
end could signify a lot of worthy questions that I want to hear your guys' answers to in that comment section down below. And a reminder that that comment is going to put you one third of the way. It's the Wiki Tribe. And just a place to store a gift card giveaway. All you got to do as well is make sure that like button, make sure you subscribe, that will let you win on today's video. Y'all can go ahead and enter in on every single last day on Earth video when Saturday rolls around. We'll pick a random video for the past week, pick a random comment from that random video, and that will be the winner for the week. Hey, red ticket. And we'll kick off a new weekly giveaway that exact same Saturday as well. So make sure you stay tuned with that notification bell to stay up to date with every single video. Y'all can enter in on for that weekly giveaway, not to mention all the other survival games going up on the channel as well. That it does help you stay in the loop on because in case you guys have not checked out some of the other stuff going up on the channel, definitely give it a look skidoodle doodle when you get the opportunity because there's a great chance if you guys like Last Down Earth, you will be enjoying some of these other survival games we are checking out. We're always trying to check out the awesomest survival games that we can find, whether they be mobile survival games, free survival games, free mobile survival games. You freaking name it. At the end of the day, if it's survival, we're doing what we can to showcase them bad boys off because, well, let's be honest, survival games are some dang good fun. Now, I'm not saying that y'all gotta like every single video that we do put out and that if you don't enjoy it, that I, I don't know. But what I am saying is that definitely try and give some of those series that you might see a look because you might genuinely find something that you enjoy the bejesus out of. So if you maybe see a series that you have never given an opportunity to check out and, you know, give it a little bit of your time or maybe an entirely new survival game being uploaded for the very first time on the channel, definitely give them a look in case you guys have not already because you might genuinely find a game that you yourself maybe want to start playing that you yourself go and cop a downloader go out and buy and on top of it maybe you'll just even find a super enjoyable series no 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 food for you mr blind one just find a super enjoyable series that you enjoy the bejesus out of and start staying tuned to in addition to the last day on earth and other shenanigans going up on the channel as well so definitely give it a look in that variety not to mention that notification bells are great way to stay up to date with all the latest and greatest of last day on earth information as soon as that type of info does come out about the game we are spreading it to your guys eyes and ears absolutely asap but breaking down the information how it connects with all the information already out there how it interweaves with things already present within the game to give us the clearest look at the future of last day on earth what to expect in future updates what features and new locations and new weapons and anything like that might be in these future updates and of course explanations early sneak peeks behind them all that type of jazz and throughout it all we're having an absolutely fan freaking fantastic time not to mention as soon as that type of new update does come out in the form of well a new update and not just news they could fear does release a shotgun rain blind one some stay dry and you will feel the pain god dang it he's got to do one more wave of hits and then he'll feel the pain come on baby run into that wall right there that light yes sir please and thank you one health shotgun rain you ain't surviving that Ooh big bones i like what i see let's go and turn in these red tickets for a wonderful red ticket crate let's go and turn in these hard mode items for uh clawing our weight towards our very next floppy disk and then uh let's get to it because we still do have that raid of the c4 variety i've scouted out the raid a little bit there's gonna be some pretty nice loot awaiting us and we are gonna have to use some high explosives to get to that loot but uh, like we are saying we are staying up in the loop with these updates and not just keeping you guys updated with the information around them but as soon as a new update does come out we are checking it out absolutely asap and posting all sorts of videos about it showing off all the new things new enemies new features new locations how to traverse these new locations what to expect out of these new locations how tough the enemies might be any strategies of potentially tackling such any enemies you know what enemies are worth killing what bosses are worth killing how bosses might work how new weapons might be showing off even if there are expensive things like finishing up the atv which isn't something that unfortunately like it's probably not going to be the cheapest thing in the world to do we gotta find an ATV transmission somewhere, and currently, the recipe involves 200 engine parts, so, uh, not the cheap at the moment. Please leave message after the beep, but god dang it, I am more and prepared to drop every single little thing that I have from our personal loot stockpile from my bank of time, which is like an abstract concept of me devoting all the time that I can to showing the stuff off, and even in the form of dollar dues, and Let's freaking go! We got a brand spanking new set of SWAT armor, a chopper gas tank, some very nice weapons, some C4. I can see that little red wire peeking out from the top of it. Oh, we got even, dude. We got all sorts of goods coming our way. No complaints from my side today. Only pure and unadulterated 
happiness. I am very happy lad at the moment. And I will also leave you behind. I will pick you up. I will put you into my pocket there, Mr. Pistol Guy. And I will pick you up for the time being. The rest of y'all, I shall return for next time. But for now, just trying to prioritize the best loot that we can before we do skedaddle back home, store the stuff away, and prepare for today's raid, like I was saying. But yeah, man, I'm more than ready to drop everything that we got to showcase off all the new features that these things do have so you guys know what to expect and you guys know how this new stuff looks and how it plays out and all that type of jazz and dude especially when we finish building the atv we're going instantaneously to those new western zones and exploring what they have to offer because the big deal about this update as well guys in case you guys do not know it is something that i do want to continue reminding you all about it is an update that is going to introduce an entirely new resource in the form of ash planks which means entirely new never before seen recipes that will become craftable on top of the fact that there's going to be new zones and whatever this freaking raider boss on a chopper is and core Orgies and locations and ah, I'm having an update hype overload at the moment guys I think I'm OD and on hype I never thought I'd see the day ah. and without almost further ado we got some hydration that our nation needs to fill up on my hydration nation hey if you guys got a water bottle nearby I'm just recommending y'all take a sip out of that bad boy because fun little fact you might be dehydrated right now. Apparently a lot of people, I don't remember where I read this fact, but I remember, I think it was from a somewhat reputable source. There's a decent chance it might be dehydrated right now. So take a swig out of that water you may or may not have nearby. No worries, no worries. I will wait for you. I even have my patented water bottle. Just kidding, I ain't got a patent on this. Some Someone probably does, but <laughs> not me. That's above my pay grade. Let's make our way over to EMAD and we're about to make you mad, bro. Change that E to a U, different concept. I, I mean, Val. I would not be good at Wheel of Fortune, man. I'd be like, can I buy, can I buy a Val? And they'd be like, sure. I'd be like, C. <laughs> but uh, yeah, open up that water bottle and on three, let's take a swig. Ready? One, two, three. Ah, hydration, baby. Ain't but a better thing in the world than it in all of its glory. You also might be like, Star, why in tarnation have you brought some shotgun rain with you on this quest? Well. I will tell you why, son of Jim Barbarino. The explanation for my almost irrational acting methods is because there might not be a silencer on this, but uh, we don't need to worry about a silencer because bada bing, bada boom, knock knock, who's there? Hello, it is Papa Star O'Clock. Yay! And we're in. There are six chests, and this is the one room that if you guys do come across this raid from doing a good amount of research from it, this is mainly the room that's going to be worth breaking into. It doesn't really appear like there is anything else that you should be breaking into. And bada 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 bing, bada 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 boom. Look at the goods. Oh, baby. Whoop. Let's go and do a barrel roll. Shotgun rain the halls of you and then finish the job on Mr. Floater Bloater. That definitely saved us a little bit of durability and everybody is dead. Haha, <laughs> it is win-win, but as you guys saw, not too shabby of a raid. Now, this AK, okay, this is actually not our AK either. This is literally a full durability, fully modded AK that we did find. I say fully modded because this is the best type of, for the most part, randomly modded AK that you can find. This is what they consider, quote unquote, a fully randomly generated AK, where it comes with a large mag, four timer sight, silencer, and red laser. Definitely not as good as our AKs, but I'm, I'm not here to flex on the AKs of EMAD, okay? I'm just here to steal them and convert them to my glorious AKs. Okay, I mean, even even if I got to use it as is, I'm, I'll still be pretty happy. But yeah, for the cost of 1C4, I'm not going to lie. This is pretty decent. Like, I have gotten significantly worse outcomes from raids. For those of y'all that have been around for a while, you know what I'm talking about during our, for the most part, daily raiding misadventures. Because it's been adventurous, but also misadventurous. We have come across our fair share of uh, poop-tastic raids, and... For the cost of 1C4, you can do significantly worse. Ooh, baby, there we got our freaking uh, aluminum bars back. Not too shabby, because this, this is a revenge raid, by the way, in case you guys are not aware, which means that some of the loot that we had taken from us will randomly be placed throughout some of these chests that we are breaking into. Let's go and try to kite everybody into one ginormous blob that we can then shoot with our shotgun. Come on, baby, where's the rest of y'all? Okay, shotgun rain! 
I'll deal with you that way and use the rest of my pistol drizzle for the powers of good. Just kidding. I might actually need to use this shotgun. So I will try and kite you two bad boys together. And I'll use this. And uh, I kind of do want to whip out the AK. But at the same time, I don't really care about using this shotgun. Because uh, number one, first and foremost, a shotgun rain. <laughs> oh, we got a critical on this fella too. And a shotgun rain to you. Like, shotguns are just freaking fun to use, let's be completely honest. And number two, it's not like we have too much noise to worry about because for the most part, we have T minus two chests to break into. These two chests will not break that hundred noise threshold that we got to worry about. And apparently breaking these chests will not bring us any more loot from what we're seeing. Now, now that that's all that we get. And yeah, there you guys have it. For the most part, these are the chests that do have stuff within this base. Uh, the greatest raid by any means? No, definitely not. But I'm, I'm a raid this. I'm not even going to go with a meh out of 10. I think that this base has deserved a decent rating. I'd call it dees. It's a dees, not decent. It doesn't deserve the second half of the word, but it's dees. It's dees. It's an okay. It's an aight raid. Like, I, honestly, realistically speaking, I can't complain. One C4 for this type of AK, three steel plates, six aluminum plates, uh, whatchamacallit, we got our aluminium back, like, all in all, it's pretty good, like, there definitely could have been more, but for the cost of one C4, depending on how much C4 you got, depending on the types of raids you've been getting, and, oh, there's a spear over there, let's not forget, but depending on how your raiding luck has been going and all that type of jazz, I, I, I would say it's definitely maybe worth using that one C4, it's up to you at the end of the day, but, you could definitely use your C4 on significantly worse things, because this is a pretty decent deal, if you ask me. But with that said, with that done, that's actually going to go ahead and start bringing an end to this episode of Last Day on Earth Survival as well. Can't wait to hear what y'all got to say about that teaser that we broke down today and how all of it does tie in with that ATV and Swamp update and all those individual components that do line up nicely with what Kafir has said, that they do want to roll multiple updates worth of stuff and this, these two big updates and... By the looks of it, they're, they're seriously lining up to be multiple updates worth of stuff with like very distinct features that are kind of being rolled into one. So exciting times if you ask me. But with that said, with that done, that's going to wrap it up for me for now. Thank you guys a whole ton for watching. Huh. This was an awesome one. And I'll talk to you next one. See ya.